when i started the development of this course then the latest version of angular was 12 but during the development the angular version has been updated and it is always better to use the latest version so in this video we will update the version of our angular application and we will work on the latest version of the angular let's learn how can we update the angular project from one version to another one before upgrading the version let's check what is the current version that we are using in this application and you can always check the version by going to this package.json file over here you will see that we are using all the packages and these are the angular packages and we are using this version of angular so it is 12.2.3 to update this application to the latest version there are couple of ways let's understand all of them one by one first let's open a browser and let's go to the official website of angular the first way is we can click on this docs on the left side you will see there is a menu we can click on the reference then go to this cli command reference and there is a command ng update this one we can use this command to update the angular there is one more website over here and it is saying update your application and its dependencies and this is the website update.angular.io let's see what we have on this website so there is a proper system on this website like if i want to update my application from version 12 to 13 then i have to choose the complexity of the application and based on the complexity and by using all the checks this application will tell us what is the command that i need to run on my application so just for the demo purpose first let's choose that I want to update it from 12 to 13 and what is the complexity the complexity of my app is basic because there are only very few pages and all those pages are also having very minimum code and here we have few more options like I use ng upgrade to combine angular JS and angular no we don't do that I use angular material yes I'm using the angular material and I'm using the windows so if I click on this show me how to update scroll down a little bit then there are couple of steps over here we do not have to make any change in the application before updating we can simply use these commands and it will simply update our application from 12 to 13 let's try to use this command so you can copy it by selecting or can click directly over here now we are back to the vs code and over here we can run this command let's paste it and just hit the enter button This command will take some time because first it will update your package.json file and then it will install all the packages. So even as of now you can see in the package.json file we are having the 13 version of angular and the command is still working. This command is successful now before running the another command i want to see what are the changes made by this command so for that i can click on this source control and there are a couple of changes in all these files first we have this git ignore so they have added one more line over here for the angular caching then we have this package.json file and at this place you can see that the version of angular has been updated here you can see the CLI version is now 13.3.5. It has also updated the TypeScript version. So earlier we were having 4.3.2 but now we have 4.6.4. Let's see what we have in this package log. And this file has the detail of all the packages that we are using in this application. And this command has updated all these packages. Then we have this polyfills.ts file. There is no major change over here. There is some comment that they have removed. Then we have this test.ts. And there was this basic change over here also. Okay, let's go back to the browser. 
and over here you can see we have one more command so this will update our angular material also so let's copy it and paste it over here just hit the enter button we are getting an error over here that this repository is not clean please commit or stress any change before updating so we have to commit all the changes that are already done by the previous command so here let's say i'm writing just click on this tick the commit is done let's try to run this command again hit the enter button The execution of this command is also done. Now let's see what are the changes by this command. Click on this package.json file and here it has updated this angular cdk and the angular material because that is the purpose of this command to update the angular material. Okay, let's enter one more message and commit the changes also. So we have updated angular material to version 13. Okay, we have committed all the changes and now the application has been migrated to version 13 of Angular. Now let's verify, do we need to make any further change also? We have done this one, this one. Angular now uses TypeScript 4.4. So it is telling us that now Angular is using this particular version and to see all the breaking changes, we can go to this particular URL. Let's copy this URL. Go to the next tab and paste it, hit the enter button and here are all the changes from this TypeScript. You can have a look on all of them and if your application is using some of them or all of them then you need to make changes accordingly. Make sure you are using node 12.20.0 or later. So we are done with all of them. After the update there are not currently any change needed after moving between these versions. Just for the testing purpose, let's build this application and we can build it by using the ng build command. The build is successful. Here you can see we are having all the messages that the build is successful. If you want to update your application manually, then first you have to update the Angular CLI. And you can update that by using the same command that was used to install the angular and that is available over here let's click on this get started or on this docs then we have to click on this setup in the middle part you will see there are some information and this is the command to install the angular cli if you will use this command then the angular cli version will get updated in your system and you can update all the packages manually all you have to do it go to your application and open the package.json file over here and you can upgrade all these packages manually but that part is not recommended you can always navigate to update.angular.io and they have already defined all the steps to upgrade the angular version